Hey, what's up everybody? Too Tall Toby here, and in today's On Shape step-by-step -step tutorial, we're gonna take a look at a very simple part. This part's called Basic Slug. This might be a part that you machine the kind of rough outline for before you go back and do the proper final machining where you get into all the detail work. And so to create this part, we're gonna be looking at the website, tootalltoby.com. Click here to get started. And this is a tier one part, which means that it is a very low level of complexity. Usually these tier Tier one parts can be constructed with just one or two or maybe three features in the feature tree. Well, we can see here that when we're looking at the overall library, we've got a wide range of complexity, everything from tier one up to tier six. I think there's even a tier seven in there somewhere. And so what we can do here is we can go up to the top and say show filters, and then we can filter for our tier one models. And this is going to be very helpful for anybody who's just entering into the beginning of their 3D CAD journey. You can filter by your tier tier one challenges, and that way you can construct these models that only require two or three features in the feature tree. Well, one of those challenges is this 241003, and this is what we're going to be creating a tutorial for today. So I'm going to say click here to practice, and then I'm going to come down here and say click here to begin, and go! What is the mass of this part in XXX grams? So we're gonna be modeling this part in grams. The material here is 1060 aluminum alloy, 2700 kilograms per cubic meter. And we're gonna to try to figure out what that mass is and enter the mass in this box here. Now, as far as the game plan for this model, this one's gonna be pretty straightforward. I think we're gonna put the origin down here in this corner. We're gonna come up 25 or actually no, 50, we're gonna come up 50 millimeters, come over 25, come down at an angle, over, come down 30, and then come back over and close this thing off. And then we can just take that sketch and extrude it. We can just extrude it up here to a height of 32 millimeters, and we should be good to go. So not too much planning as far as the game plan goes, we just needed to make one sketch, and we'll create that sketch here on the top plane. So let me move this over to my second screen. Let's choose to show our keyboard cam and let's create a new document here in Onshape 24-10-03 basic slug. And we're gonna create this in the public space. So if you're ever working in Onshape or in the free version of Onshape, you can search the public space and you can look up this document. So actually, hold on, I got the document name wrong here. This is the nice thing about Onshape. You can just change the document name there right on the fly. So I'm going to go top plane, S key, begin a sketch, N key, get normal to, and then we're going to press the S key again and begin the line command. Single click here on the origin, move our mouse up, single click again, let go of our mouse, 50, enter, move our mouse over, single click, let go of our mouse, 25, enter, move our mouse down at an angle, move our mouse over, kind of straight over, move our mouse straight down here, and then close off the sketch. On that last line, when you go to close it off, you can put in that 100 dimension, or you could hit escape, and then you can jump into the dimension command here, press the letter D, or press the letter S, and then choose dimension here. And then we're gonna say that this line is gonna have a length of 100. We're gonna say that this line is gonna have a length of 3030, and then you're gonna click on this line and this line, and from that same dimension command, you're gonna type in 145. So it's kind of nice you can use the dimension command for lines, for arcs, for circles, and even for angles, all one single command in on shape. So now we're gonna take that geometry and we're gonna choose features extrude, and we're gonna to choose to extrude that out to a depth of 32. And I think that in this case, I would probably make it symmetric just because, you know, I, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen with this model. Maybe the model's not going to be symmetric. Maybe it is. Um, not knowing one way or the other, I'm probably going to opt to make it symmetric, but it really doesn't matter in this particular case. So I'm going to hit the green check mark, and there we go. That's pretty much it for the geometry. Just two features, just a sketch and an extrude. And so now we could press the letter P to hide the planes. We could right click on the name of the part here in the parts list and choose edit appearance. We can make it kind of match up with the appearance that's coming from the customer. Customers always like it when you match the parts to their appearances. And then we're gonna right click on the name of that part again and go to assign material. And the material for this part is going to be from the Tutal Toby custom materials library. It's going to be 
1060 aluminum alloy. So we hit the green check mark and then we go down here kind of behind the clock. We've got this set of scales, display mass and section properties. So we're gonna click on that scale there, click on the name of the part. And the answer we're coming up with here is 327.1 grams. So we come over here into this box, 327.1. I know it's only asking for the mass in XXX grams, but we can type it in here with that extra 0.1 and enter. And oh yeah, we got it correct. Let's go. That's what we like to see. So congratulations, this answer is correct, 327.1 grams. And so now we can say submit and we will get one point on the community scoreboard. And then as we scroll down here and we look at the uh, results here, we say data and analytics, we can see here that our rank is 106 of 119. Wow, so a little bit slow here compared to the field. Um, if we scroll down a little further, we can see that the average time for this model is two minutes and two seconds. And my time was three minutes and 49 seconds. So maybe a little bit slow here. Maybe I could click try again. And I can go back in and try to do it a little bit faster. But I think considering we were shooting a tutorial here, it went pretty smoothly. And if you agree and if you enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. And I will see you in the next on-shape step-by-step tutorial. See you, everybody.